فلسفیکل آیا آف دی قرآن بیکاز یو نو اینڈ لیٹ می مینشن ہیئر ڈاکٹر رفیع الدین ہی از اے ویری بگ اسکالر اینڈ ہی ایکسپلین دی فلسفی آف سیلف آف علامہ اقبال ان اے ویری فلسفیکل بک آف فیس دیٹ از دی آئیڈیالوجی آف دی فیوچر دی مین تھیم آف دی فلسفی از دیٹ ان مین دیر از این ارج فار لو He wants to love someone, something, some idea, some ideology. This is the basic urge in every human being. So much so, that for this love of his, he can sacrifice and he is ready to sacrifice even his life. Because the modern psychologists, they tell us that the most potent in instincts in man are the preservation of the self and the preservation of the species. You want to live. You want to save yourself. This is the most potent instinct in every living being. But in men we find, men have sacrificed their lives for ideologies. How many people laid down their lives for the communist revolution in Russia? How many people sacrificed their lives at the command of Hirohito, the king of Japan? They, they, they committed harakari. They committed suicide at the command of the emperor. At the command because they thought that our emperor is a god also. A manifestation of god. God incarnate. So out of love for him they committed harakari. And that was a special form of suicide. They used to cut their own abdomen with their own hands. With a knife. Starting from the lower part of the abdomen till this, the, the chest. The whole a person doing it himself. Killing himself. So actually... He has decided, he has inferred and he has proved that the most basic instinct in human beings is which differentiates them from all animals because the most potent animal instinct is to preserve it himself. But here we find that man sacrifices his own life, not only his own life, his progeny for the sake of some idea, ideology, some philosophy, some people for their nation, some people for their, for their country, some people for their honor, some people for you know, some ideology, some communism and so on. It means there is an inherent urge to love something in every human being. This inherent urge of love was basically produced in us for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But people who don't reach that place, who can't comprehend Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who have not recognized, who didn't have the marfa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, now they place somebody else, something else in his place, and they start loving him or that idea with the intensity with which they should have loved Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is the basic reason of shirk. Sometimes it is the country, my country, I'm sacrificing my life for my country, my nation. I am sacrificing, I have dedicated myself to my nation, my religion, my philosophy, my ideology, my revolution. So actually all this was to be for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but people out of ignorance, when they couldn't reach the concept and the, the marfa, the understanding of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then they place something else at that place. Because if you are very hungry, you eat everything then. Even haram can be eaten at that time. Even the dead flesh, the flesh of a dead animal can be eaten. Because the urge to, to, to eat is so strong in you that if the good food is not available, you are, you are eating the, the, the very foul uh, food. So in the same way, if you, this urge of love it is not attached to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will somehow attach with something else. And that thing will, will become your God now. Either it is Vatan, or it is Qom, nation, or country, or some idea, or some ideology. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَتَّخِذُ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ أَنْدَادًا يُحِبُّوا لَهُمْ كَحُبِّ اللَّهِ There are from among people who take or make something rival to Allah. And they start loving them, loving that thing, or loving those things, 
جسٹ ایز دے شوڈ ہیو لو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی کا حب اللہ ولزین امن و اشد حب اللہ اینڈ دوز ہو ہیو ریئل فیتھ ہو ہیو ریچ دی ایمان ہو ہیو ریچ دی نوسس اف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہو ہیو دی ہو ہیو گاٹ دی معرفہ اف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی دے ار دے لو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی مور دین اینی تھنگ ولزین امن و اشد حب اللہ ناؤ دس از دی ایسنس اف ایمان اینڈ دس از دی کرائیٹیرین on which we can assess ourselves is allah more dear to us than our own lives is allah more dear to us than our sons and daughters and parents or our wives is allah more dear to us than all the wealth of the world if the answer is yes allah is more dear to me than anything else then it is iman thank god that you you, you have the iman and if anything is there which is more dear to you than allah then that is your god not allah if you love wealth more than allah then allah is your then the, the, the wealth is your god not allah subhanahu wa taala that is why the prophet said tais abdu dinar wa abdu dirham woe to the do bonds man of dirham and dinar because whosoever loves you know this wealth dollar more than allah subhanahu wa taala dollar should come money should come rupee should come whether it is coming from halal or haram i don't care it means it is more beloved to you it's more dear to you than allah subhanahu wa taala so you may be having the name of abdul rahman but actually you are abdul dinar you are abdul dirham taisa abdul dinar wa abdul dirham wo to the abdul dinar and abdul dirham a man who is a bondsman to dinar and dirham so whosoever is most loved by you he is actually your lord he is actually your your god and you are worshiping him wal ladina amanu ashaddu hubban lillah and those who have real iman they love allah more than anything else let me quote here the ayah number 24 of surah al surah at tawbah qul in kana ba'ukum wa abnaukum wa ikhwanukum wa azwajukum wa ashiratukum وَأَمْوَالُ الَّتِي اقْتَرَفْتُمُوهَا وَتِجَارَةٌ تَخْشَوْنَ كَسَادَهَا وَمَسَاكِنُ تَرْضَوْنَهَا أَحَبَّ إِلَيْكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَجِهَادٍ فِي سَبِيلِهِ فَتَرَبَّصُوا حَتَّى يَأْتِيَ اللَّهُ بِأَمْرِهِ وَاللَّهُ لَا يَهْدِي الْقَوْمَ الظَّالِمِينَ Say to them O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if your fathers and your brothers and your sons and your wives or spouses or your relatives and the and the wealth that you have gathered and the business about whose you know you you are always fearing about some recession and of the big buildings that you have built which you which you very much like if all eight things all these eight things are more dear to you than allah and his messenger and going to jihad for the cause of allah then go and wait till allah subhanahu wa taala declares his final judgment and allah is not going to guide such rebellious type of people now this is actually the criterion of iman تو والذين امنوا اشد حبا لله ولو يرى الذين ظلموا يجرون العذاب ان القوه لله جميعا وان الله شديد العذاب and only if these people who had committed sins who have been unjust who have done shirk because this is the description of shirk the if if they could see the azab is yaron al azab if they could see the moment if they could visualize the time when they will see the azab and the punishment and the chastisement and they will clearly understand at that time anna alquwwata lillahi jami'a that all authority is with allah wa anna allah shadidul azab and that allah is very severe in punishment these realities will dawn on them on at that time only if it could dawn on them at this time this would have been beneficial with them for them is tabarra alladhina tabi'u min alladhina tabau when those who were followed the leaders uh, the general public was following them they might be, they may be religious leaders they may be the political leaders who have given slogans to the public at large when those people who were followed they will disown those th- th- them who were following them waraul azab and when they will see before their eyes the punishment of allah subhanahu wa taala the fire of hell wa taqattad bihim al asbab and all the relations between them will all be broken and cut wa qala alladhina tabau and at that time those people who were followers who were following the leaders the religious or the political leaders 
they will say la anna lana karratan if there can be a returning for us to the do to the world the worldly life again that tabarra minhum kama tabarra minna we will also sever all relations from them we will disown our leaders the religious as well as the political leaders as they have disowned us today kadalika yurihum allah a'malahum hasarat alayhim in this manner allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show them all their deeds that they had done or committed in this world as regrets for them now they will be regretting we followed them and they took us astray we believed in them and they you know just took us away from the right path but this will be regret only there is no second returning to this world this life is for once and now the hereafter will be eternal the result that will going to be to last forever wama hum bi kharijin min an-nar and they will not be able to come out of the fire barak allah li wa lakum fil qur'an al-azim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum bil ayati wa dhikr al-hakim